hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to insert the data into our database which is over here and now we are going to get started with it so guys, i am going to make one button where i'll click on add that time we are going to create a url called create okay so now let's begin with that so as you saw in previous video we have fetched some data and now we are going to insert data so guys now let's move to our vs code editor and this was our data which we learnt in previous video about part 5 how to fetch the data from database in code igniter 4 and now at the top you can see the heading on this so let me just give an h5 below that ins inside that i am going to type a a tag okay so let's give a a tag where i will tell add and this i am going to add a class where I'm going to assign a button, button where info, I want this button small and float to end. I'm using bootstrap 5, so I'm using end. And give a href. And inside this href, I want to direct to the base URL, base underscore URL, where at the student forward slash create okay student forward slash c r e a t e create so i want to create a url on this okay right now file not found so let us make that file let's get back and paste the url so when you click on this the url should be called cool so now let me just refresh okay so you can see that add button is coming over here right so let's click on this and now let's create a url for it so let me just give students over here so guys now let's move and let's go to routes.php so inside your config folder you can find your routes.php and create one url below this so let's copy the above and paste it below and mention that forward slash create and add the function I mean at the student controller where you are going to create a method called create okay now let's copy this create control C and let's go to your student controller which you have created already in previous video so here is our controller and now we have to create the function so I'm going to create a public function where create and inside this inside this we have to start the simple thing which is return view return view of what students folder where i'm going to tell create.php or you can directly call the file okay create so let's save and let's create a file inside your views folder inside app only so i'll just show you app views inside views i have a students folder inside student folder i am going to create a new file called create.php as simple done now let's extend our layouts so as you saw in previous video we have done with the extension extending parts if you don't understand what is this all about extend and section and all please watch out the video about view layouts link the given into the description so let's move on create page and paste this so guys section should be end and now let's end the section over here so inside this all the links and js files are included so guys, now let's design the website on this i mean to say the form so i have already designed so let me just paste that okay now done so guys, i'll explain you with the simple thing where this is a div container where row i am going to justify this at center and the column six and then simple card with the card header design and then card body inside that card body i have the form okay so before that here i have given the heading as add student and this purpose to go back the back button for it okay and now coming to this form as you can see very simple things about one base url which we have created student add okay so this we will post the data with the post method and then we have created one input tag with the name attribute called name email 
phone and course so these are the four details which we are taking when this clicks on submit button called save okay so for validation i have used this html attribute called required so we don't need validation and now guys as you see over here name email phone and course so four data are there and this created as default as timestamp whenever the row inserted it will automatically insert so do not worry about this just ignore this part and let's continue to our coding okay now what we have to do let's create a route for this and use a post method to send the data let's copy this route and go to routes.php let's type routes where forward arrow where i want to give the function in this not get we have to use post function okay so because we are posting the data and inside this you are going to call the path so what part we will call just now which we have created in our form okay so where is the form create.php it's over here so this is the form let's copy this path name and paste that over here and then call your controller as simple so let's copy the same controller and assign over here paste and create a store function store method copy this and move to student controller where this controller is created so we have already created now and let's call that public function so let function at store function hit enter and open curly close with it so guys we didn't check the this output right so let us first check that and then store the data into our controller okay so now let's go back and refresh the page and now let's click on add so let me just click over here you can see the form okay and now this is on back button if you click it will go back to the same direction and now guys what i want if we fill the data the time when we click on save the data is good should get saved so now let's get uh, to our controller and start the code for it so first step let's create a variable called students or you can create directly student so let me call my new key and my student model so student model function so this model we have imported at the top okay and this you have to create a model so how will you create this in previous video i have thought how we are creating and inside this model over here you can see that model where i have called my table okay table primary key and number of columns which we want to insert or read update delete everything done so let's get back and start calling the data so let's give dollar data the ta data is equal to inside this array format we are going to call our input tags so my database column name will be name and give is equal to forward arrow and your dollar request of this so dollar this of request request where you are going to get post method values okay so capital p o am and then small letters everything okay p o s t where i am going to call the column name not semicolon you have to give comma so guys now what here you have to get so as you saw in create index so let's copy this name attribute of the input tag and let's paste over here so same thing you have to repeat for everyone okay so what is that next one email then phone then course so let us copy that and replace over here email phone so let's just type phone make sure your this is the input tag and this is the db column so db column also is correct where you can see that same name i have given name and course so this saves the time of a developer so we have to give the same name so guys now let's continue over here and now we have to write the code to save let's type dollar students so this students is nothing but this variable okay so same variable we're going to paste and then call the save function of it and give semicolon and inside this save function what you are going to pass all the data so how you are getting this save function and all you can just move through your documentation on this code igniter we are modeling using 
coordinator model so you can see that save data where you can find that one is insert method one is update and another one is save okay so this is how you function work with that save thing so from here i have done with that so let's continue so this is a unique method and nice method to save the data so now guys after saving i just want to return and redirect back so where are you going to redirect so you can move to same page or else you can go to your students page after inserting i want to move on this page okay so there is an error because we didn't complete this so let us just finish this and then it will be redirected so let's redirect with so this with function where you are going to add the status and here you will send the message called inserted successfully f u s s f u l l y inserted successfully or else you can tell student inserted successfully and this with function will assign the flash data okay which will be using the session so this will be using in create.php to check the message so now let me just refresh what was the error so everything is working fine so that was the simple error because of this so once you complete this no error will be seen so let's cl click on create and when you save that it will go back to your home page students so students url so before going if you reach to student url index.php file then you have to show a message right so guys now let me just create the code for it as you can see in getbootstrap.com we have an alert so let's use that alert to show the message as you can see there are many things and there is one javascript behavior also so this is one code so if i give close it will work so let's copy this code control c and get back to index page and paste it over here that's it as simple and now inside this we have to type the code so let us type open php and close php let's type the code if session function where get flash data okay so if you are getting any flash data what flash data you are going to get the name status so this is the message you are passing that so let's set that and once if it is set that time you have to echo so let's copy this and here inside this you can use it echo or else let's divide this php close php and open php again inside this you are going to display so let's change this comment hey and over here you can echo the data php open is equal to where php close where this is equal to means echo the data okay let me get semicolon and now let's cut this and paste into this inside this php code set and now let's save this so this is how we show the message on coding data so now let's get back over here let's refresh and now guys as you can see that there are only two data so let me insert new data called mohan where mohan at gmail.com where phone number just add some 10 digit number where i'll adjust the course become let me save you can see hey student inserted successfully cool so this is how and you can see the record which you have fetched so let me see in the db also same record it's coming so it's confirmed that you are getting that okay so you can see over here also so this is how we insert the data and uh, let's add one more data called mahesh mahesh at gmail.com where date phone number and bca let's save this you can see inserted successfully cool so this is how we store the data into our database using code igniter so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe and like and share